Unraveling the magic of shall and should. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our exciting journey into the world of English language learning. Today, we're going to delve into a fascinating part of English grammar. The modal verbs shall and should. These two verbs might seem small and simple, but they play a massive role in how we express our thoughts, intentions, and even advice. Shall and should are both primary modal verbs in English. Modal verbs are helper verbs that give additional information about the verb they accompany, conveying elements like necessity, possibility, intention, or ability. Shall is often used to express future actions or intentions, mostly in formal contexts or in legal or official documents. However, in everyday conversation, especially in American English, will is usually used instead of shall. Here's an example. I shall return the book to the library tomorrow. Should, on the other hand, is used to express obligations or expectations, or to give advice or recommendations. Here's an example. You should finish your homework before going out to play. Despite its formal image, shall has a few different uses in English. Let's go through some of them. 1. Offering or suggesting. When used in question form, shall can offer or suggest something. For instance, 2. Shall we go to the movies tonight? 3. Expressing future actions or intentions. This is the classic use of shall. For example, 4. I shall visit my grandparents this weekend. 5. In legal contexts, shall is often used in laws, regulations, and contracts to express obligation. For example, 6. The tenant shall maintain the property in a clean and tidy condition. Should is a versatile word with several key uses. 1. Giving advice. The most common use of should is to give advice. For instance, 2. You should drink plenty of water every day. 3. Expressing expectation. We can use should to express what we expect to happen. For example, 4. If you left your keys in your bag, they should be there. 5. Talking about obligation. Should can be used to talk about things that are the right thing to do. For instance, 6. Everyone should respect each other's opinions. And there you have it. A quick but insightful journey into the world of shall and should. As we've seen, these tiny words can change the way we express ourselves in English in a big way. We hope this video has been helpful in your English learning journey. Remember, language learning is a marathon, not a sprint. Keep practicing and you'll master these modal verbs in no time. Until next time, happy learning!